Hi everyone, I'm Clem and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the TBR Spring Cleaning Challenge that was created by Sarah over at Sarah the Dreamer. I'm going to link a channel down below and you have to go check out the original video for this challenge because she created um, a sort of story and it's really well done. But basically this challenge is to help us to clean our TBR um, list either on Goodreads or physical. For me it's going to be on Goodreads because my TBR list on Goodreads is uh, around 350 books and let's be honest I will never read all those books so I need to clean it. I wanted to do it but then I saw that Sarah had tagged me uh, to do this challenge so I'm going to clean my TBR with this challenge. So she came out with like 10 prompts that you have to follow and it will help you get rid of some books. So we're going to start right now. Okay, so the first prompt is to pick a book on your TBR that's been here for too long. So we have a lot of things here. Um, first, I'm going to erase the second Narnia because I decided I would erase all the sequels like I know about. Like if I read the first Narnia, I think I can remember that there are other books after. So I'm going to erase this. Ooh, this. I'm going to take away 99 Days. Where is it? 99 Days by Cathy Coutinho. I remember I wanted to read it back in 2015 because that's when I added this book to my TBR. And let's be honest, I will never read it because I can't even remember what it's about. And I think I'm not interested anymore to read this book. So it goes away. And let's see if I can find others. I'm sure like there are so many books I can't find. Oh, this. History is all you left me. Uh, no, it's been here for too long, but also I'm not interested in reading it anymore. So it's going away. Oh, this. Things I should have known. I don't even know what it's about. So it goes away. Now, moving on to the second prompt. It's pick a sequel you just won't get to. And I think... I can find several here, sequels I will not read. I feel like I could have erased all the um, front of class from this, but it's already done. So let's find something else. Where What Sound by Rainbow Roll. So this is the second book in the Carry On or Simon Snow series. Um, I loved Carry On when it came out because it was like the thing that uh, 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 Ren, no, Kath, Ren, uh, Kath wrote in Fangirl and I was obsessed with Fangirl so when it came out I was so happy. I liked it but then uh, a lot of people were actually disappointed by Where What's On so I'm not interested in reading it anymore. You know, I think that's it for the sequels because as I told you, I have a tendency to not add sequels because I remember them. So like I'm not going to add sequels. Like if for instance, it's a series of four books, I'm not going to add to read the four books, just the one after so I can remember to read it. But that's basically it. So our third prompt is pick a book by an author you've fallen out of love with. Um, oh, I erased last year the Sarah Jemas books, but I think I can find some stuff I don't want to read. I'm going to delete The Noble Sky to Scandal and Shipwrecks by Mike and Zilli. And I'm not going to talk about the scandal with Mike and Zilli, but it's the third book in a trilogy. I still haven't read the second one. And I want to see what people would think when it will uh, come out because right now I don't know if I will like the second one so I'm going to delete this one um, and I'm still going to read this book by Mike and Zilli because I like this book and I know like for a lot of you she did bad bad stuff and um, I don't know what to think and I will not talk about this right now and never so that's why I'm going to delete it and also because like I want to make my own opinion on the matter before reading anything by Mike and Zilli. So I still like her but I think it's um, it suits uh, this prompt. Prompt number four is pick a book you're keeping on your TBR because of the cover. So we're looking for beautiful books. Beautiful books. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. It's five to one. 
by Oli Butcher. I don't even remember what it's about, but I remember that when I read the synopsis back in 2016, it sounded really intriguing and interesting. Uh, but I don't even know what it's about. And I think like I had four years to pick this book and I still haven't. So it's going away. And I remember that the cover is really beautiful. Like it's two hands like this and there's drawing on it. I loved it. Uh, but it's going away by Veronoki Girls by Amy Angel. Uh, Angel. Um, I liked this uh, cover because it's like wallpaper, but then there is like a hole in the wallpaper with blood or stuff like that. I found it was beautiful, but I don't know what it's about. And I think it has to go like bye. Have a good day. Beautiful covers. Like I. Uh, I see a lot of books that I want to like to to delete from my TBR but right now I'm looking for beautiful books beautiful books because I'm trying to follow the prompts a bit uh, 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 uh. I think I'm also going to delete The Sofa's Breaks by Louise O'Neill um, it's a pretty recent book but um, I think I will never get it because I wanted to buy it because it was so beautiful and the art Back, like the art cover was also like like a mermaid tail and I thought it was so beautiful and it's a retelling of uh, the little mermaid I think but I know that a lot of people didn't like it and I'm never going to get it so bye see you later vengeance road okay it just went away vengeance road here um, is going away because once again the cover is really beautiful but i don't have it and i will never read it it was i think like a cowboy or gangster uh, ya back in the day and i'm not going to read it because i'm not interested uh, i'm also going to delete the Azlewoods um because uh I loved the cover and I wanted to read it because someone told me it was similar to a book I had read uh, but I talked with some friends and they said it wasn't that good so I have other books to read and um, I'm going to trust my friend and I'm going to delete it and also I'm just seeing uh, a book a sequel I would not get to and is One of Us is Lying like One of Us is Next which is the sequel to One of Us is Lying I didn't like this book and I'm not going to read it and also I'm going to um, to delete Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen McManus because I fallen out of love with her just because I didn't like um, the first book, like the only book I've read by her. So yeah, uh, I'm also going to delete Resurrection Girls um, because I love the cover, but I know that a lot of problems said it was really problematic, like there were some problems with representation or like it was a huge trigger warning but it was like gross i don't really remember what was the problem with this book but it's going away bye bye it feels so good to delete some books like the ten thousand doors of january i don't know what it's about it's a pretty cover but i think i'm just keeping it for the cover right now a, a trees and a thorn also here wait where is it? I lost it. Here, a, a tree and a thorn. I don't know what it's about. I don't remember. Uh, it's going away. Bye. Okay, so I'm combining um, the fifth prompt, which is pick a book from a genre you never reach for, because I'm going with classic, because it's like what I read the least. And so the prompt for classic was the prompt number nine, pick a classic or an older book you just won't read. Um, and of course, if I see books from genre I don't read uh, usually, I will delete them. So, 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 so. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. It doesn't mean I don't want to read it, but I think I'm not going to read it that soon. And I think I can't remember Dickens and his books, so uh, A Tale of Two Cities is going away. We're also going to delete The Catcher in the Rye by G.D. Salinger. Um, my, my best friend read it in high school and I think she liked it but uh, let's face it I will never read it or maybe one day and I think she would remind me to read it so it's going away as well as uh, Fahrenheit 451 uh, 451 uh, because I remember this book okay my best friend read it and she also liked it uh, so I'm going to delete it because I don't want to read it that soon Oh, I'm seeing another one I'm going to delete. Um, 
It's the first book here in the Jurassic Park uh, series by Michael Creech Creechton. Uh, I love Jurassic Park. It's one of my favorite uh, movie series. I'm obsessed with dinosaur and all that. So when I saw that there were actually Jurassic Park books, I was so into it. But I don't think I will ever read them. Uh, at least now, maybe when I'm older, but um, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be disappointed by this, so I'm going to take it out of my TBR. Then we have Peter Pan, I'm going to keep it. Of course, Ginostim is staying, Wuthering Heights, I have it, so it's staying. And also, just uh, Here the Trees by Ali Shaw, I keep it because of the cover, because it has a fox on it, and I'm obsessed with foxes, but I will never read it, so it's also going away. I'm going to um, delete The Ends Made, End Made Tale by Margaret uh, Atwood. I've watched the series and my sister did too and then she read the book and she didn't like it. So I think I'm going to stay with the memories I have of this series that I enjoyed and I'm not going to read the book. I know, maybe I should, maybe one day I, I will do it, but not now. Okay, I'm also going to delete the Adventure, Adventurer's Guild by Zach Lauren Clark and this is middle grade and I don't read that much middle grade I knew that a lot of people loved it I think it was Regan that like read it and she loved it and I've I'd read the synopsis and I thought it was cute but I don't think I will ever start this series so it's time for it to find someone else to read it um, so it's going away I'm also going to delete this book, uh, Saint Nicholas North, uh, Nicholas Saint North, and the Battle of the Nightmare King, which is the first uh, book in the Guardian series, and it's I think what inspired the book, The Rise of the Guardians, that I love. Um, but once again, it's a middle grade. I don't think I would read middle grade that soon, so I'm going to take it off. Prompt number six is pick a book a friend recommended and it sounded really good at the time but now you're not too sure anymore. Whew, I have a lot of them. Okay, I'm going to uh, go with The Fox Owl Court which is the first book in the All for the Game uh, series by Nora Sakavik. One of my two best friends read it and really enjoyed it and I remember once again reading the synopsis and thinking, oh, it sounds great and uh, I'm going to read it but I had it in 2017, we're in 2020. Um, we can say that I will never read this book, or at least not now. And at either I have it on my Kobo, like my e-reader, so uh, if I want to read it, I could still come back and add it later. But right now, it's going away. I'm going to delete Stranger Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Uh, actually, it wasn't recommended by one of my friends, but one of my two best friends read it once again. And at first she thought, it thought she was good it was good but then actually it wasn't that good uh, so I think I'm not going to read it plus it's super uh, thick books so I'm not going to read this duology so bye bye stranger dreamer it's going to be the same for the opposite of always by Justin A. Reynolds it's the same thing that uh, with stranger dreamer uh, one of my friends read it and told me it wasn't that good so I'm not going to read it Okay, next prompt is pick a book you put on your TBR because of the hype. Oh, so many. I have a night circus, but the night circus, I don't really know what I want to do with it. I'm not sure I want to read it. Um, oh, should I read it? No, I think it's too late. I'm not going to read uh, the night circus because I feel like I don't want to read it anymore. So this is going away and the hype was massive uh, on this book. Oh, The Wicked Dip. Uh, I think it was like in an old crate, so everyone was talking about it, but well, I'm not interested anymore. The next prompt is pick a book you tried to read but just couldn't get into. Um, I think I don't have any because when this happened, I already deleted them and I've been scrolling through my TBR list for like the past 30 minutes and I know I haven't seen anything. Um, so we're going to move to the last prompt since the, the, the ninth prompt we did it. It was pick a classic or an older book you won't just get to. And so the last prompt is pick a book that you have no idea what it's about or how it got on your TBR. This is going to hurt because it's 
the case for so many books like because if you've been on my channel for a while you know i have a short-term memory concerning books and what they're about so we're going to delete so many books right now let's do this i'm going to delete the distance from me to you by marina gessner i think i know a bit what it's about like i think we're following the four sisters or something like that but i had it in 2016 we all know what it means uh, i'm also going to delete riders by veronica rossi uh, because, well, it's been too long and I have no idea what it's about. Is it about horses and fire powers? Oh, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to delete the Museum of Heartbreak. I have no idea what it's about. I'm also going to delete The Way Back to You by Michelle Andriani. I don't know what it's about. Um, also, The Mysterious Howling, I remember when I read it, I thought it was amazing, but and right now i don't know what it's about also the invisible library i'm never going to read it about this the song from somewhere else i think it's about the ghost or some stuff like that but i'm not interested anymore the whole thing together i don't know what it's about why are you here words on bathroom walls i have no clue what it's about the last time we were us i don't know uh meet me here who are you when my heart joins the thousand, well, it sounds good. I know what it's about, but I don't want to read it, so it's going away. Also, spells slingers, cool name, but who are you? I have no clue what the traitor's kiss is about. Why are you here? I know you remember. Well, I don't remember you, so that's complicated. So I'm going to delete this and I'm also going to delete some other books like without telling you and I will tell you how many books I have left on my um, TBR list. Okay, so I just finished like uh, cleaning my uh, TBR list. So remember at the beginning of the video, we had, I mean, we had, I had uh, 350 books on the want to read list on Goodreads and now I have 250 and 48 which is way less like i deleted almost uh, more than a, a hundred books which is amazing though i still have so many books on this but like most of the books on this list are books i have here but i have too many books that i have but i haven't read yet so i need to do it i hope that before the end of the year i would have less books on this tbr because it's insane and i need to read books and to stop adding books like all the time so yeah so thank you sarah again for this challenge because it helped me so much so thank you again uh don't forget that if you want to do it you can do it because uh, i tag you or uh, go see the video of sarah i I assure you it's really great, it's way better than mine. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel to see more of me. And I will see you next time. Bye guys!